Welcome to a quick tutorial on iDump Classic 2013. When you first launch the program you'll be presented with a language menu. As you can see here it's detected an iTouch attached and a mini second generation. On the menu here you have file, exit, action, you can start copy or click the start button here once you've selected um, tracks or you can search for more media devices you can quickly select a different language and you have various help options available here on the panels you have device again under device will be your um, devices. You've got the playlist for that device. You can also do a search. On the options tab, you specify an output directory of where you want your music to be copied you also have an output option for example percent %t is the title, song title so if you were to output your selected tracks they would all appear in the My Music folder selecting percent %a, percent %b, percent %t will give you your, it will create an artist folder followed by an album folder and then place the title Unattended transfer allows you to, as it says here, automatically overwrite a file if it exists and continue, or skip and move on to the next song if it exists. If you don't specify this, then you will be prompted for a choice. To select tracks to output, you can select a group here by holding down the shift key and clicking then right click and do select or deselect you can do select all deselect all so if I just do the option here that I've, um, with the collection that I've just seen here then I'll just do start copy and that will perform a transfer of those selected tracks to the destination folder. See, as you can see, the tracks are there and the copy is now finished. If any errors are reported during the copy, they will automatically appear here. And that concludes the uh, quick tutorial on iDump Classic.